Hello and welcome to the unboxing and assembly of the ABIT NF7S uh, version 2.0. This is not my item, I have the box from a friend and uh, after a quick glance uh, at the outside of it, uh, let's see what uh, waits us on the inside. Uh, it's the back plate, the floppy driver for the serial uh, ATA um, hard drive, a floppy cable, and uh, here's the motherboard that has a CPU mounted on it. It's a mobile one. And as you can see, there are some radiators on the voltage regulator and one radiator on the socket bridge. On the back, there's some tape over the socket and some, I think some, art, some remnants of a cooling solution. And now let's see what's uh, in the rest of the box. There's some instruction for the serial ATA cables, uh, CD with the drivers, a bracket for the firewire, an adapter for from IDE to serial uh, ATA, a bracket for USB, and the manual. And uh, some information, uh, a sheet of paper with some information about uh, the serial um, ATA to IDE converter. And we're gonna put it all back and uh, we'll um, have a quick look at the CPU we're gonna be using for um, this project. And uh, here it is, we're gonna unbox an um, AMD Athlon XP 3200 Plus. It's not really an unboxing since uh, I've noticed that the item I received um, has been removed previously from the packaging and um, it's only some tape that uh, holds everything together. Uh, yeah, you can see that the CPU moves on the inside. but I'm happy to see this uh, CPU in the original package. And we're gonna proceed uh, with removing the CPU, looking at it, and then removing the radiator from the package. There are also some docu documents accompanying the um, CPU and radiator. And we're finally gonna assemble everything. Like I said in my previous videos, um, I consider important only those four mounting points, the ones um, nearest to the CPU and north bridge, and we're gonna secure those with uh, 
some screws. The, for the other uh, mounting points, so we're gonna use the push pins standoffs that can uh, can hold the motherboard in place. And we're gonna start with the CPU. And now we're gonna um, uh, install the RAM. This is the video card. Uh, it's uh, one year older than the motherboard, uh, but uh, is the closest I have at the moment uh, to the moment when the um, NF7 uh, became available. And now onto the power supply. And now the hard drive. Uh, I have chosen an IDE one, although a faster uh, serial ATA would have been better suited. And because we're going to test other motherboards, some having uh, serial ATA ports, others others not. Um, and uh, we need to make uh, this a fair fight. And now the sound card. Although I know this motherboard uh, and the one uh, are we are gonna look at uh, in the next review, uh, both have uh, pretty good incorporated sound cards. Uh, Soundstorm uh, by Nvidia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have decided to go with an external card to make uh, things fair and take some load off the south bridge. The CD-ROM, although. Um, not really important to the build in general. I have decided to add one uh, just to show some of the drawbacks of uh, the uh, IDE ports positioning on this motherboard. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time with another 8-bit motherboard unbo unboxing and assembly.